and my two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will adders fanged. Okay, welcome back. So uh, today, it's a glorious day for me in my F-16 cockpit. Can you tell me why? That's right. We're probably finishing the videos today, um, which is good because I'm going on vacation for a couple of days. So worst case scenario, if you don't hear from me for a week or two, don't fret. I'm not abandoning the project. I'm just uh, I'm on vacation. Hey, I need to take it easy sometimes, you know? All right. Uh, so first, some housekeeping things. Um, for starters, table is too big. Uh, I liked having all the build space and I thought bigger is better and, you know, all those things. But I, I cut some strips off because it just... It was too darn big, I'm sorry. So that's much better. It's still more than big enough to fit whatever section I'm working on at, at a time. And second thing is, TJ initially told me to do this, is put some kind of sunk holes and screw this down so it doesn't come loose. And I'm like, nah, I don't need to do that. And then I had a couple of close calls, no accidents, but close calls. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it, it took you three seconds. So do that. And then thank you, a big thank you to Mr. Chris Fisher of Invictus Cockpit Systems, who recommended this to me. It's uh, $5 on Amazon and you just pour your glue into it and you don't have to worry about tipping glue anymore. It's amazing. So thank you, Chris. I really appreciate that. So all that's left with this guy over here is to put this rail on it and then it's done. And then I gotta put the metal brackets on. Oh yeah, the metal brackets. Remember those? We had those since the beginning of the video. I haven't touched them yet. Yeah, those. Those gotta go on. And then I gotta build the whole other side, but I'm not gonna videotape that because it's exactly the same as this one, just mirror it. So if you really know how to do it, just like <laughs> horizontally invert my videos and you'll see how to do it. Um, and I'm gonna paint and I'll explain how I'm painting too. But spoiler alert, I'm probably not going to paint the parts that you're not gonna see. Like I'll paint this, but I won't paint this because once the cockpit's assembled, you're never gonna see it. I'm not gonna waste paint and I care about efficiency. And then last but certainly not least, I'm going to build the ejection seat. Um, that'll be a whole separate video though. It's not for the F-16, well it is for the F-16 cockpit, but it's not going to be part of this video series because he actually has really good instructions on how to build the, uh, the uh, seat. How do I know? I built one already. So, but I'll, I'll videotape myself doing that um, a little later. But anyway, let's get started. And you know what? I just realized that is not going to be another, enough number two length screws to do the other side. So fortunately, these were purchased at Home Depot. So I don't have to wait for an Amazon to come pick up in the box of these. These were Amazon though. So. These are really tight. I recommend getting two boxes of each. I wish I could edit my first video, but hopefully you're watching all these videos start to finish before you can begin construction, so. All right, so this guy, you're gonna drive yourself mad trying to make this line up, and that's because it's not gonna line up. I spoke with TJ, turns out he actually, uh, he actually cuts it long on purpose, and uh, the reason for that is so you can trim it to the length you want. So I actually, well, that happened. I'm really clumsy. Anyway, um, so mine's a little short, but that's okay. I can just use the bracket and I can trim, where is it? Here it is. This guy back. And I can just put it back where it was and just trim it off like that. The point is though, that no matter if you line this one up, the rest aren't gonna line up, et cetera. You're gonna be knocking this down with a sander no matter what you do, which is fine. So the moral of the story is, you know, just kind of get it close. In fact, I'm gonna actually take it off the workbench for this, put it on the floor and just do it down there. It's gonna be easier. Um, but once that's installed, we've got the panels to install and it's it's donezo. The panels are a part, there's, he, TJ doesn't have anything in his instructions about the panels that go in here. I spoke to him about it, so I'm really glad I'm making this video because I'm gonna demystify all that. So um, here we go. Yeah, much easier to work with on the floor. Uh, I'm going to bias mine to line up to, to line up with this more so than this because I plan to make an interior wall. Um, or you know what? Actually. Yeah, you know. Remember what I said about driving yourself crazy with this? Yeah, I'm gonna line it up like that with these rear couple spars. And I'll tell you why. Because the cockpit ends here and the upfront dash uh, is right here, the pedestal and the MFDs and everything. So you're not gonna see all this back here. This is where your feet go, your little tootsies go for the rudder pedals. So you're not gonna see this side of it anyway. So I wouldn't even worry about this one, if I'm being honest. Um, these are the ones that count. That's how I'm gonna do it. 
So my plan of attack, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole here and put here, here and put one screw into it. And I can lift it up and kind of jiggle it around and move it and everything, but it's gonna stay in generally the same place. Lay the glue down. Well, drill the rest of the pilot holes. Lay the glue down and then take it from there. That's my plan. Let's get to it. Let's you know how it works out. Okay, that's it. Like I said, don't drive yourself crazy trying to get this perfectly straight because it's the path to madness. So I'll probably take a sander and just sand it down in there. And like I said, I plan on making, I'll either 3D print or ABS or do something to make an interior wall here. So you're not gonna see it as crap anyway. So don't, just don't stress about it, man. You know what I mean? Um, all right, so next up, oh, the exciting part. It's gonna start to actually look like a cockpit. Well, it already does look like a cockpit, but the interior is gonna have panels and stuff. So let's do that next. I'm super excited for it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. So remember these, the number 10 pan heads? It's for those, these brackets. So we're gonna do a bracket, the big boy, thick boy bracket here, here, and here, here, and here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so on down the line. So that's it. Also, I looked this up. Um, I'm a pretty strong dude. I can deadlift 315, but lifting this up, it wasn't <clears throat> that hard at all. I recommend lifting under here and then wrapping other arm around there, and I picked it up off the floor, no problem. So you're wondering how heavy these are. They're not that heavy at all. Also just discovered these do fit these, but these do not fit these. So we're going to use the, these are three quarter inch. Yes, three quarter inch. So for the first time we're busting out these three quarter inches. Still haven't, and I have used those. Haven't used these yet. These are the one inch. Those are the one inch. I haven't used those yet. And I haven't used these yet, but beyond that, I've used every single kind of screw it's been called out. But you can see these don't go all the way through. So that's what I'm gonna use to screw this bracket in. So technique here, this is one of my favorite tools of all time. It's called an awl. Alpha Whiskey Lima and all, I'm sure you know if you know anything about what we're doing with this. I'm planning to, I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna have to do it off camera, but put this guy up here and then I'm going to use the awl to punch the holes just to like get them started. And I'm gonna drill them and take it from there. So that's that's gonna be my technique moving forward here. Oh yeah, I guess I'm just mad I forgot clamps exist. So yeah, clamp it on there. We're just gonna stick that guy there and then just tap it with a hammer. Do the same thing from up there. And then I've got my screw hole started. And then I'll just start a little starter hole with that thing. Nothing too serious to make sure the wood doesn't split and that'll be that. So a slight problem I encountered. Well, first off that's in there and I've lifted the tub up by this thing just to make sure it's secure and it is. Um, but as you can see, these are right angles and that frame's on a right angle. So, and then that's gonna be have to be an acute angle I mean, I guess I'd get away without making you an acute angle, but I'm not, I'm, it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So I've got a vice over here attached to my bench and I'm gonna have to bend a bunch of them. So just, you know, give them a little whatever with some pliers, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I literally just wedged a needle nose pliers in there and just bent them up a little bit. So we'll see how those fit. Perfection. Perfection. I thought maybe I could get away since the bolts are so short without, uh, count, without drilling the holes out. And uh, no, so I just put the wood. So I've got that clamp shut again and started to split it like that until the glue dries. Uh, so don't, don't attempt that, drill the holes out. Uh, let's see which bit's gonna work best for these. Probably that thick boy right there. I'm gonna use that one. Yeah, don't be stupid and lazy like me. I'm gonna squirt some glue in there and then clamp it shut. But anyway, yeah, drill your holes. Don't be dumb and lazy like me. Adjust the bit to the proper length. Oh, and the long boy helps here too, because that won't maneuver in here. It starts to go at like an angle, which is a pain in the butt. So anyway, don't be me. All right, squirt some glue in there, clamp it shut and let it sit. And I'm gonna keep working down the row here. Okay, so what I did was I clamped them all, drilled all one hole, and then drilled all one bolt to get them in place. Then get the clamps out of the way. This guy has been absolutely essential for maneuvering in there. Boy, I'll tell you, this was actually one of the more challenging parts. Manu maneuvering my drill in there, like I had to use every which tool in my little toolbox to get that drill in there. There are parts that are just so unmaneuverable. I even had to resort to using a manual screwdriver. I cursed myself by saying, screw all the screws in with a manual screwdriver, but there are screws in there that you just cannot get that screwdriver in there. I mean, man. Also, I used one entire package and one more screw that went on a little adventure back there. I'm going on an adventure. And it's gone. So I used one package just for one side. So the other package will go for the other side. So I need to buy two additional packages of these. I'll probably pick up a belt sander while I'm out too to just do the sanding part. But uh, whew, yeah, lad, that is not easy. Okay, same deal. I just put these in the vise and I bend them. You can bend them with your fingers, honestly. They're really not that hard and it might be a little too much actually, honestly. Um, yeah, really not that hard to do. So 
little bit of elbow grease, good to go. Oh, and uh, yeah, I got this guy in there. So this spar is really, really, really secure, which is good because if you watch F-16 pilots get into F-16s, they put their hands on this as they stick their legs in the leg holes. For the, where the rudder pedals are, so I think people are gonna instinctively grab onto that getting into and out of it. I'm gonna grab onto that getting into and out of it, so I want it to be really secure. I even toyed with the idea of getting a sheet of like strip metal, like a garage door stripping and running that along the top of this as well and bolting that on there just to really make it like a solid, solid, solid handhold. So if I decide to do that, I'll let you know. Well, I gotta tell you, lad, those were a son of a gun. Not fun. By far my least favorite part of the construction so far. They suck a lot. And there was an unforeseen development that which is regrettable, but that's okay. I'll, um, my plan there is I'm gonna saw them off with a Dremel, probably. Oh, there's one right here too, you can see it. I'll saw them off with a Dremel, and then I plan to spackle this sucker anyway before I paint it. If you, the parts you can see at least, if you spackle like that, you can make it nice and smooth and it really sells the illusion of a, shush, you're too loud. It really sells the illusion that that's metal and not, oh my goodness. Yes, I'm gonna feed you, give me a minute. Uh, it really sells the illusion that that's metal and not wood. So, I'm surprised all the noises haven't scared them away. I'm coming. I guess that's probably going to be it for me today. I guess I cursed myself by saying I was going to do the painting, um, but I'm definitely not getting to it today. So, uh, this side still needs to have the panels installed. Hmm, what time is it? 11 o'clock. <laughs> No, I really gotta get packing for the uh, little vacation I'm going on. So that's it for this one. There'll be at least one more video then when I come back in like five days or so. So stay tuned. There'll be more. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, try and get this uploaded real quick. And that'll be that. Talk soon.